Hello and welcome. Today we'll be starting off with life cycle of stars. It all starts with big cloud of gas and dust that is known as a nebula. The force of attraction between the gas and dust particles causes the nebula to convert into a protostar because of increasing gravitational field. As the gravity gets even stronger because of increasing in gas and dust molecules, the protostar starts to squeeze and therefore it becomes more dense, increasing the particle collision. As the collision and the temperature increases, it causes fusion reaction to occur, which gives out huge amount of energy and the protostar now becomes a main sequence star. The main sequence star exerts an outward pressure because of nuclear fusion and there's an inward pressure because of gravity, which makes the star stable for a longer period of time. Our sun is in the state of a main sequence star right now. After several billion years, when the star runs out of hydrogen, it will expand and contract so that the nuclear fusion can start up again. What comes next is depend upon the size of a star now. If the star is very small in size, it will cause a red giant to be formed. And if the star is really big, it will cause a red supergiant to be formed. From here, the stars complete their life cycle in very different ways. For a star that is medium in size, when it becomes unstable, it expels its outer layers and forms a hot, dense, solid core, which is known as a white dwarf. And after many years, as it gets cooler and darker, the white dwarf convert into a black dwarf. At the black dwarf stage, the star no longer has enough energy to emit light. For a really big star, the life cycle is a little different. The really big star forms a red supergiant and for more nuclear fusion, it contracts and compresses many times. After that, it will convert into a supernova and forms an element heavier than iron. This is because the red supergiant explodes. Then, for example, if the star is very, very large in size, it will form a neutron star. But if the star is absolutely massive, the result is in the form of a black hole. So let's conclude everything. It starts off with a gas and dust known as a nebula, then a protostar, then a main sequence star. For a medium star, it's a red giant, white dwarf, and a black dwarf. For a very big star, it forms a red, red supergiant, then a supernova, and then a black hole, and a neutron star. 